so I have a watch for you guys today that I really wasn't expecting to be showing you guys. Uh, for one reason, I did not know this watch existed up until yesterday morning. Yesterday I was at Gem Bijou returning some watches that the owner Sam had lent in for reviews. And while I was there, a Seiko shipment came in. Sam started pulling out watches. There was uh, some new King Turtles. There was the new Alpinus. Some very cool watches, but I saw one large box. I have it right here, actually, and I noticed it said GPS Solar, and I've been wanting to take a look at an Astron for a very long time, and this is a pretty special one, so I'm very excited to share it with you guys. So the watch is the Astron GPS Solar. This is a limited edition to commemorate the 160th anniversary of founder, Seiko founder, that is, Kentaro Hattori's birth. Now, I only have this for a short amount of time, so just a quick look today. The watch comes out in quite a large display box and a couple of extras with the pin here. That is actually the trademark S originally registered by Hattori back in 1900. The same S logo makes an appearance on the case back of the watch as well. You also get quite a nice croc strap here. It's got matching gold stitching to match the uh, gold highlights on the watch. I haven't worn it, but it seems to be a really good quality leather, and same goes for the deployant clasp. Now, the watch is made mostly with titanium, with the exception of the bezel, which is zirconia ceramic, and I just love how the facets catch the light. Look at that. That is just gorgeous. There's 16 facets representing the 16 decades since Hattori's birth. Between that and the gold accents on the dial, pushers, and crown, it is quite the eye-catching watch. The watch runs the 5X53 movement, and it's quite intuitive, especially when it comes to the functions you would use the most regularly. The watch will receive the GPS signal automatically when it detects sunlight, but I did it manually to see how quick it would take to adjust the time, it was super fast. I wasn't timing it, but I'd say it was about 30 seconds, and that's all done with the push of only one button. Down at the 6 o'clock is your second time zone in the sub-dial there, and my favorite function of the watch is you can actually switch the time from the sub-dial to the main handset by holding in both buttons. And you can see we're going to start moving hands here. So if you're traveling, you can easily switch from, say, your home time to your destination's time and back when you return. And I just think that is a really handy feature to have on a watch. The subdial over at the 3 shows the day. There's an AM, PM indicator there, and the date is just below that. Over at the 9 o'clock, the subdial displays a couple of different things, but probably the most important being the power reserve. You can also toggle between having daylight savings time on, off, or set it to auto. And there's even an airplane mode, so it's not trying to get signal while in flight. The finish work on the hands and markers, I'd say, are very well done. I really like how tall the markers stand off the dial. The gold marker at the 12 is a great touch, too. The loom situation here is top-notch like it usually is with Seiko, so no problems with legibility in low light. Both the case and bracelet are very well finished. Same as the case, the bracelet is titanium. It's lightweight but feels solid. The clasp also is very well put together. I haven't sized it to get the full experience, but I bet it wears really good. Now, one thing Seiko always seems to nail is how wearable their cases are. Even the larger sized ones, this isn't massive by any means. It's just under 43 millimeters in case width, but it seems to wear smaller. And the case conforms perfectly to the wrist. 
if I were picking up an Astron, I would probably go for a different variant. Nothing wrong with this one at all, but I'm really liking the silver dialed model, the SSH063J1. It's just a little bit more my style. And not to take away from this one, though, this is Killer 2. Super cool watch and a privilege to be able to check it out. Cost-wise, this limited edition model has an MSRP of 5200 Canadian or about 3950 US dollars as of today's exchange rate. If you're interested in this or any other Seiko models, make sure to check out gembijou.com. Thanks again for them for lending in the watch. Thanks to you guys for stopping by and we'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.